a night crawler and I am a creator of concepts and identities like Sad Boy, Sun Boy, Polar Bear, Bag Boy, and Princess Elizabeth. These identities are a direct answer to selected real patterns of social models. My operation could be compared to programs such as swimmers who travel the web and extract all content without exception at their individual stops. The concepts I create are often tested under extreme social burdens to illustrate problematic and dysfunctional places. These characters often encounter the impossibility of establishing conventional relationships in today's world. Instead, they produce dysfunctional, toxic, and unhealthy social ties without the ability to self-reflect. Sunboy follows a vertical, which is known to us, for example, from the environment of rap texts attitudes. This vertical follows a direct upward rise which brings with it all the benefits of success. Social, relationship, cultural and economic stereotypes are getting stronger with each step up and the real context becomes virtual and eventually disappears completely. Sunboy begins his existence at the top. At the beginning of the vertical, he descends from the sun and, along with him, is his kind polar bear. Both as descendants of the gods and equal partners, Looking down reveals the bright blue color of the award-winning man-made structure touching the heavens. These structures are, for Sun Boy and the Polar Bear, the way down. The relationship between Sun Boy and the Polar Bear changes its proportion on the way down. In the end, man stands in a dominant position towards the animal, which no longer has a natural environment and over time becomes a motive and even later only a myth. This space is huge and has essentially no restrictions. We are currently talking about more than 6 billion active architectures, which also cover active content and concepts. The individual segments are constantly growing exponentially, exceeding the number of people on Earth. However, these are all data that are based on the ability to map this entire typology space and we are familiar with it and we have mastered it only in part. But we are not able to determine the scale. We find ourselves in a scale-free situation and the condition of knowing not fulfilling a task or duty is movement. Thanks to the character and connectivity of the space, we find ourselves in a completely stable world, which is able to overcome long series of crises. There are only a few highly interconnected architectures, and they are located in such a way that they are completely unlikely to be subject to paralysis or destruction at the same time. But we consider problems that are generated randomly. However, a targeted attack could have fatal consequences. It is useless to think of such a thing, because it would not be just a matter of changing a system but of the end of such a world. Laws or moral values have no physical impact. They function as shared information and are equal to information about time or weather. They do not affect the operation of this network, nor do they affect light or sound. All the more attention is paid to the architectures themselves and their infinitely possible variants. Then on the infrastructure and finally the forms that surround the crawler himself. The crawler doesn't just float, it's not naked or driven. With each new stuff, he gets the opportunity to change the environment in which he spends most of his time. He is constantly learning and handling new information practically. It increases 